Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Look, we got one. We got a set booster box, finally. Finally, customs and Brexit and the pandemic let it through. And that's perfect. Before we get to unwrapping this bad boy, uh, remember to like, share, subscribe. Check out the links in the description for two places now. The first place is for Darth Model Shop, where I get all of my magic stuff, including this from. This is where I purchase this local business. Support it. Don't give your money to corporations who are fine with the pandemic. Support a local business and get your magic supplies from Darth Model Shop in the southeast of England. And then where would I play this? Where would I play with my cards? I would play the match of Manufactured Conflict. Also down the southeast of England on a Tuesday evening in Dartford, run by a wonderful council of people who uh, put on all sorts of games, it's like uh, Vampire Masquerade, Dungeons and Dragons, Warhammer, everything down there on your Tuesday night, hosting all day as once a month as well, where we can play whatever we're about to pull out of this. Now, of course, a set booster box for Cold Time is different to a regular booster box. And how is a set booster different? Well, it actually helpfully tells us on the back of the pack as well. So if we're not looking to draft, so these packs here cannot be used for draft. Each one of these boosters is going to contain at least one rare or mythic. It's going to contain one art card. It is going to contain one snow land, which has a has potential to be foil. And it will then contain a selection of uncommons and commons, some uncommons and commons, which are exclusive, very exclusive to the set boosters themselves. I know for a fact the one card in here, Youthful Valkyrie, is currently going for about three pounds as an uncommon because it's just really, really hard to come by. And then of course, at the back, you'll either get one token or you'll get a set booster card, a card from something called the list. Now in the list, there are different cards from the history of magic. This pack's gone all over the place. Ooh. From the history of magic uh, of varying uh, value. I pulled a scroll rack last time I attended one of these. These packs are slightly damaged at the top. That is not great packaging from wizards there. Let's hope the cards inside are fine. And let's load these out to the side. Let's do the slightly damaged ones first. That's actually really upsetting, the fact that some of these are damaged. Wizards may be getting a letter about that. But there we go. Such is life. We'll see what the cards are like when we open it. Let's put that to one side, and we'll get started on some of these. Now, as per usual on the channel, we are going to open these using scissors, using good old scissors so that we don't bend the cards accidentally, which may not be a problem, because these ones may already be bent, which is a bit annoying, but oh well. So we'll open this up. We'll check the back of the pack first. That's my alarm again. Back of the pack first, we've got a token in this pack, so no uh, set booster card in here. Um, the top doesn't seem to be too damaged, so I think we're okay. And our art card for this is this one, and it looks pretty. And to start off with already, we've got ourselves a snow-covered mountain. Let's just try and adjust the focus of this camera slightly, Ooh. just to make sure that we can see these in very clearly. There we go. So there's our snow-covered mountain in foil, looking really pretty. Okay. I'm going to kick things off with some counter magic and disdainful stroke. Oh, let's get some camera. There we go. Disdainful stroke. Bind the monster. So this is a blue themed pack. Sometimes you may find a pack which is themed because the cards will be relatively all the same color. So a null, Brian Barrow Intruder, Mist of Yara. And then let's look at that. The first five cards, all blue. All blue in there. Not a problem. And then an uncommon. So provoke the trolls. Elven Bow. It's an uncommon. Crush the weak. I'm coming. Oh, what a strong start already. Our and God of the Cosmos is a mythic kicking things off there. And then an ice hide trot, ice hide trot as well. And then a foil Carfell Kennel Master. We're also going to get a guaranteed foil card in here as well. If it's not a foil, it will be another rare or mythic. So that's perfect. So let's put our foils in one pile, our commons in another, our arts, art cards off to one side. Our tokens will move and then we'll have a look at our rares as well. Oh, it's a good start already. Two foils, a mythic out the top. Let's have a look at our run to begin with. Isn't he pretty? So it gets plus one, plus one for each card in your hand. And each foretold card, you're in an exile. Begin your M-step, choose a card type, then reveal it. Put all cards of the chosen type into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. And the back of that is Hakar, the Whispering Raven. So whenever it enters, uh, deals combat damage to a player, return to his hand and scry two. I like that. I've not used it yet. I want to do something with it, but goodness knows what at this stage. Right, let's go for pack numero dos. Butchering many languages there. Uh, let's open this up. Okay, let's look at the back first. So, oh, it's a set card. We are going to have a set card in here because it's replacing the token at the back. And our art card is, 
Oh, it's four in clacks. He's looking pretty. I like it that. Okay, let's flip to the front. So starting things off with a woodland chasm. Strategic planning. I think we're going to get another blue pack here. Run ashore. Thought draw thought thief. Groom draw. Oh. Skull raid, blue and black. And another Carfield Kennel Master. And a raise the Draugr. Okay, going to move on to our on commons now. So Magia, Bretagar, Protector. And we're straight into rares. So one uncommon, straight into rares. And a set card here as well. So Magda, Brazen Outlaw. Other doors get plus one, plus zero. Whenever it becomes tapped, or a dwarf becomes tapped, create a treasure. Sacrifice five, look for an artifact or dragon card. Put that onto Battlefield and shuffle your library. Check out the channel for Magda stuff in the Dwarven Riot video. It's amazing. We've got a alternate art, Cole, the Forge Master. We have got a foil, Dwarven Reinforcements, and a set card, which is a Panglacial Worm. 9-5 Trample. When you're searching your library, you may play Panglacial Worm from your library. That is mad. I love that. That's really cool. So there's our list card sitting over here as well. Uncommons, Alt Arts, Foils. Let's put our lands down the bottom as well. Let's put our land foils together too, there as well. There's two rounds so far. Doing all right out of two packs so far. Enjoying this. Let's move on to pack number three. It doesn't seem as if the cards are damaged in any way. So there's a plus altogether. Let's have a look through here. We are going to get a token in here. It's a Dwarven Berserker with nothing. So you can go. Goodbye. As we look at our art card, which is Sour of the Realm Eater or whatever it is. No one's using it. Doesn't matter. Okay. Snow Covered Mountain to start things off. Salrath's Packmate, Master Wolf, Mammoth Growth, Fearless Pup, Not Vold Recluse, and we're straight into Uncommons quite early on in the pack, actually. Four cards in. Nico Defies Destiny. I like this card. It's really cool. Oh, Gates of Istful. Again, another card I really like. It's going well. And Vega the Watcher. So some Azorius stuff here. And then an Uncommon version of Sorak coming. I like that. And we're on to Crippling Fear as one of our rares. And a Shimmer Veil Drift to back up the end of the pack. And a Foil, Sturtland Frost, Sturtland Frost Pyre. Nice. So tap, into tapped, tapped to add red. Two blue, blue, red. Sacrifice it. Sturtland Frost Pyre, descry two, and then deals two damage to each creature. And you can yeah, do it as a sorcery. It's not great, but it's not awful. Wonder if we'll ever get any value out of it whatsoever. Who knows? Lands down there. Uncommons here. Let's crack on to the next pack. It's 30 here. We're down three already. And we'll see how we get on with the rest of this box. Could it be a great box? We are getting a set booster, a set card out of this booster. That'd be interesting. Art card is... It's Tibble. Look at that. He's cool. I'm loving the art cards here. I need to get a frame for them, really. So, foil, snow-covered mountain. Oh, that feels really thick. Oh, card quality is nice. Good stuff. Okay. Infernal Pet, Village Rights, Priest of the Haunted Edge. Oh, three cards in and onto an uncommon straight away. Amazing. That's really cool. So, Bretagard Stormhold, Stronghold, Fall of the Imposter. Check out the tokens video for that. Token video, plus one, plus one. Binding of the Old Gods. I love this card and hate it at the same time. Uh, Fame the Fame Bearer. Excellent news. Ruin of Mortality. We're up to five uncommons there. Five in total as we go on to a, Ma a Mask Wood Nexus. Creatures you control the same. Every creature type, the same is true for spells you control. And creatures, cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. That's amazing. Love that. And then a Sturtland Elementalist. I believe this is one of the rares you can only get in set boosters. And our set card coming up after our Bergstride. And it is Army Ants. 1-1 one, one Insect. Sacrifice a land. Destroy target land. That's quite cool. Don't know if I'll ever see any play for me. We'll check a value on that right now, actually. As we do our third minor sponsor for uh, the MTG Trades app. So let's go for a search. We're looking for Army Ants. 71 pence. So it's not great, but oh well, we'll live with stuff. Okay, so it's two rares out of that pack, five uncommons. So we're how many packs deep is that now? Four? Four packs deep. We're up to one, two, three, five rares. Six rares if you include Plangatial Worm. Are we including that? I'm including it. Oh, well, six rares, four packs, not bad going. Two set cards so far. Let's see if we can get any more. Opening next pack, we are getting out of here. Another set card. Wow, this is rare. I've not pulled this many set boosters before. Or set cards out of boosters. As we go to, I think it's Innistrum Surge artwork. It tells you on the back, of course it is. 
Yeah, Mr. Still, uh, Scott Cairn. Nice. Okay, Snowfield Sinkhole. Dread Rider. Why am I putting you? Oh, it's land, that's why. Dread Rider. Dogged Pursuit. Draugr Recruiter with a crown. Okay, onto Uncommons already. Cole the Forge Master. Oh, let's move these off my lap. Cole the Forge Master. Axe Guard Armory. Spectral Steel. Divine Gambit. Uh, uh, oh, God. Oh, God, it's happened. Oh, we've pulled. This is the second one of these I've pulled. Pulled one of these in the video that I tried to record and it wouldn't let me. So we've got Coma, the Cosmos Serpent. Amazing. You are getting sleeved up straight away. Oh, look at you, you beautiful bastard. There we go. In you go. Okay. Ice Bind Pillar. There's another uncommon and a foil struggle for Scam Car. And Kingpin's Pet. I remember this back from original Ravnica or second Ravnica. So 2 2 flying with extort. Whenever you cast a spell, pay it, and each opponent loses one life and you gain that much. That's cool. That's three set booster cards already. And we pulled him. I'm so happy. Let's have a tidy up first. Oh, two mythics out of five packs. Oh, 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 feeling all funny. Right, let's move on. As we slice open pack number six, fifth of the way through now. Oh, Jesus Christ, another set card. What is happening? What is happening here? Art card is Sturtland Frostpire. Look at that. It's pretty. We've already seen that card today. So, Ice Tunnel. Way down. Yarl of the Forsaken. Feed the Serpent. Elder Fang Disciple. Love this card. Death Nail Berserker. Straight into Uncommons. The Trickster God's Heist. Oh, those were black, by the way. Trickster God's Heist. Path to the World Tree. The Three Seasons. World Tree. Yeah, love that card. A Sculpture of Winter and... Oh, we're not there yet. <laughs> I keep doing that. So it's a Foil Demon Bolt and another set card, which is Shambling Shell. Sacrifice it, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature and dredge three. If you would draw a card, instead you may pay exactly three cards on top of your library into your graveyard. If you do, return this card from your graveyard to your hand. Otherwise, draw a card. That's really cool. Three and one for a... Well, three one for a... For three mana, plant zombie. Nice. That's cool. We won't do value checks on those ones unless they come out as rare, I think. That was a nice pack. Enjoyed that one. I think our luck's going to run out now. I think we're going to run out of set cards, which wouldn't be awful, but would be a bit rubbish, but wouldn't be awful. So let's have a look here. There we go. Back to <laughs> normal services resumed with a token zombie berserker. And we look at the front, and we've got Return Upon the Tide for our art card there. You've got to hand it to these people. I'd love to be able to draw something like that, but I just can't. Off to one side. Forest. Snow Forest. Comb is Faithful. We're getting a lot of blacks here. Demonic Gifts. Master Vandal. Dusk Wielder. Just Bear Sentinel. Port of Carfell. Nice. Carder's Vicious Return. Dream Devourer. Excellent. Love this card as well. And another rare in here. Toski Bearer of Secrets. Excellent. A Grim Draugr, and then a Foil Axe Guard Braggart at the back, too. So this is interesting so far. Not many uncommons in there, I don't think. Lots. Getting a lot of black commons, but not a lot of much else. Two more rares in there, Toski and Dream Devourer. Nice pair of cards to get there. Moving on again. And we go into here. And we have got another token. Token is fine. We've got Behold the Multiverse as an art card. Look at that. It's so cool. I love them. Need to frame them. Snow Covered Swamp. Glittering Frost. Sculpture of Winter. Roots of Wisdom. Elderly Pimenta. Grizzled Outrider. Onto the Uncommons. It looks as though this was very much an elf pack. Imistrum Skull. There. Skullcam. Dragus Helm. And straight into the res. I do hope we get more than one. That would be cool. So Ascendant Spirit. It's two res, Cyclone Summoner, Frostbite, and then a Foil Basalt Ravager as well. Cool. Good stuff. Sending Spirit's a nice card. Lots of different ways to cheat that onto the field. Lots and lots of different ways. All right, let's move on. Next pack. I've lost track of how many are there, aren't I? Or I've lost, rather. How many I've got? Uh, onto another token. That's fine. Some of these aren't tokens. They're like, this is different ways to play the game, and no one cares. Uh, Torf got a Fury. As our art card. And then Sulfurous Mire, Horizon Seeker, King Harold's Revenge, Guardian Gladewalker, Struggle for Skemfar, 
Solrus Packmate, Uncommons, Calder Doom Scourge. Cool. Doom Scar Titan. Clarion Spirit into the res. Cosmos Elixir. Excellent. Spirit of the Old Guard and then Demonic Gifts as our foil as well. Excellent stuff. I do feel like we're being slightly cheated out in terms of how many rares in a pack at the moment. Because I've known some people open these packs and get like four rares like consistently. But each to their own. And we carry on to our next pack, which contains... Is it a token? Is it a set card? It is a token again. I feel like we accidentally opened all the set booster ones in one. So there's our useless token. Our art card is the World Tree. Very pretty. Glacial Floodplain. Mammoth Growth. Fearless Pup. Not Volvo Police, Broken Wings, Ice Side Troll, Uncommons. Okay. Shepherd of the Cosmos, Valkyrie Sword. Youthful Valkyrie, that is money right there. You are being sleeved up, you three pound beautiful girl. Thank you very much. Into the sleeve you go. And onto the uncommon pile you go as well. Okay, rare Blood Sky Massacre, and then a Bergstrider and a Foil Run Amok. Excellent. Oh, so happy to pull another youthful Valkyrie. They're so expensive right now. Okay. Open again. We've got token in here. That's treasures. Kicking things off there. And our art card is... Oh, all via the all form, but it's the alternate art. That's really nice. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Snow-covered island. Arachnoform. Ravenous lindworm. Snakeskin veil. Wings of the cosmos. Uncommon. Starnheim aspirin. Another card which is exclusive to set boosters and you can't get in regular draft boosters. So angel spells you have cast cost two less. It's a Baneslayer Angel on turn three if ever seen one. Rampage the Valkyries, another card you can't get unless you get set boosters. So when it enters, create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. When an angel you control dies, each other player sacrifices a creature. Mad cards. So there's some angels here in Great Hall of Starnheim and Ascend to the Worthy. All of rares all round, leading into another mythic of Starnheim Unleashed. Create a 4-4 White Angel Warrior with Flying and Vigilance. If this spell is foretold, create X of those tokens instead. I love that card. Priest of the Haunted Edge, and then a Foil Depart the Realm at the back as well. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. That's How many Mythics is that now we've pulled? Let's have a quick count. So just to recap our rares so far, Steinheim Unleashed, Blood Sky Massacre, Cosmos Elixir, Ascendant Spirit, Cyclone Summoner, Tusky, Dream Devourer, World Tree, Alternate Art Carmo, huh? Sturton Elementalist, Mask with Nexus, Crippling Fear, Magda, and Alrun. So that's three Mythics so far. I'm quite happy with that. Let's just sleeve up these Mythics, actually, because I know someone's going to be shouting at me down the camera going, sleeve the Mythics! Why are you sleeving uncommons? Well, you know, intelligence isn't all there, everyone. So let's get our Mythics, actually, in a separate pile, all sleeved up. Let's just ditch the rubbish real quick. And continue on. How many packs have we got left? Who knows? Who cares? Let's keep going. No one's counting at this stage. Not even me. And I'm the guy doing the video. All right. We've got a token in here for Kaya the Interaxable. Disappear. Art card is... Uh, I don't know, actually. What is it? Oh, Svela Ice Shaper. That's cool. All right. Snowhole Sinkhole. Frost Peak Yeti. Shimmer Veil Drift. Snow Based. Mist Walker. Depart the Realm. Carthel Harbinger. Raven form. Hate love. Okay, Lijara Miller Mirror Lake. Uncommons came late in that pack. Lijara Glade Warden. Here they come. Blood on the Snow is our first rare in the pack, and only rare in the pack, but we do get an alternate art, Egar the Freezing Flame, and a foil Raider's Cave. Nice. I like that alternate art, Egar. That's really cool. I'm not going to go through all the cards here because by now, Kale time's been out long enough. I imagine most of you have been looking at cards or playing on Arena. So there's not much point talking you through. Right, Human Warrior token, flip to the front. For our Arwen, God of the Cosmos art. There he is again. He's appeared to us so far. Right, Snow Covered Mountain. Broken Wings. Ice High Troll. Arachnoform. Straight into Uncommons. Uh, War Chancer Scold, I believe, is a set booster card again. I don't think you can pull this out of regular boosters. Uh, whenever it becomes tapped, if it's enchanted or crit, create a 2 1 red dwarf berserk creature token. Nice. Uh, Fearless Liberator. Dwarven Hammer. Nice dwarven based on commons here. Forging a Tyrite Sword. 
Guild of the Sword card, another card you can only get in set boosters. And our rare to begin with, Insert Your Greatness. So that's five uncommons there, all dwarven based. That's nice. We then got Sculptor of Winter and a Foil Mammoth Growth at the back as well. I feel skimped out one on the foils here. We haven't had any foil rares yet. I know we've had four set booster cards. None of them are inverted commas mind blowing, but I would have expected something a little better out of this. But we'll see. Let's keep going. Okay, in here we've got another token. This is our foretell marker. And then on the front, we've got Saurus Pagmaker artwork. Okay, Glacial Floodplain, Ravenous Lindworm, Snakeskin Veil, Wings of the Cosmos, Colossal Plow. We are, what's that, three cards in? Are we on to one commons? That's cool. Colossal Plow, Armed and Armored, Set Booster Exclusive, Bearded Axe, Giant's Amulet, Battle of Frost and Fire. First rare. There we go. Two rares in this pack. The other one is Yawn, God of Winter. I've not pulled one of these yet, I don't think. So whenever it attacks, untap each permanent you control and we'll turn it off. Oh, 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 what did we do there? Why did we do that? Oh, wow. So Yawn, God of Winter, we'll turn it off, Vega Watcher, and a foil Tyvar Kel at the back. That is the first Tyvar Kel planes rock I've pulled out here. He is pretty. Elves you control have tap for Death Touch. Put a plus on plus one counter onto one target elf. Untap it. It gains Death Touch to the turn. Create one one elf green warrior token for zero. And minus six, you get an emblem which whenever you cast an elf, gains haste until the end of your turn. And you draw two cards. And your foil. You sexy, sexy bastard. In you go. Four mythics so far. Another two rares. Two rares and a mythic in that pack. And I was just saying I felt cheated on because we didn't have any rares that came in foil and that we won't get enough rares in a pack. And look what the magic gods did to me. Thank you so much for making me eat my own fucking words. Right. Lots of YouTubers don't swear when talking about magic. I do. It's an exclusive sport. All right. Slip open. We've got a token again. I want more set cards now. I feel like we opened those too early. Art card at the front is Starnham Unleashed. Pretty. Snow Covered Swamp. God's Hall Guardian, White's Coke Spell Cleric, Iron Verdict, Doom Scar Oracle, Revitalize, Giant Ox. That's a lot of white commons. Uh, Giant's Grasp as our first uncommon. Jewel Strike is another uncommon. And then a rare Dragonkin Berserker. That's cool. Frostbite and our foil at the back is a foil bind the monster. Nice stuff. And business resumes as normal. Okay, we're down to a couple of piles. So let's actually now count how many we've got left. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're officially halfway through. Officially halfway through these packs. Let's keep ourselves going. Okay. Token. We need that. Don't know why we put the effort into that one. Uh, Snow covered planes. Oh, and it's signed. Oh, I like the signed ones. That's cool. Thank you. Right. Highland Forest, Red is Kev, Raven Wings, Stanholm Corsair, Stalwart Valkyrie, Battlefield Raptor, Invite the Divine, Uncommons Fire Giants Fury. I think this is a set booster exclusive. Uh, we've then got Invasion of the Giants and a rare alternate art, Salworth Whelm Eater. Nice, really cool. We've then got a replicating ring. I know someone's after a lot of those, and a foil Battlefield Raptor. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, moving on to our next pack. Over halfway now. How exciting. Mm, open. We've got another token here. Oh, well, we had four set boosters in a row and now nothing. Oh, well. Uh, big, you got a storytelling. Storytelling, get your words right. Right, Volatile Fjord. Funeral Longboat. Beskar Shield, mate. Best gear shield, mate. Warhorn Blast. Story Seeker. Master Scald. Valor of the Worthy. Unswan Commons, Sturtland Frostpire, Egar the Freezing Flame, and a rare Realm Walker. I haven't now got a place there then. That's cool. Ice Hide Troll, and a foil with a crown at the back as well. Cool. Getting lots of really nice stuff here. Enjoying this immensely. So it's four Mythics we're still on so far out of this box. We're on to pack number 17, I believe. Uh, slip. Okay. Tyvark. Oh, look, your Tyvark emblem. That's cool. You can stay there with him. And the art card is Skemfar Elder Hall. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Arctic Tree Line. Axe Guard Braggart. Bounding Gold. Shackles of Treachery. Goldmore Champion. Dwarven Reinforcements. Axe Guard Cavalry. Open the Omen Paths. That's a lot of commons in there. 
to begin with. It's like a regular draft booster, but even though it's not. Okay, Glimpse the Cosmos. Oh, hello. Two Ty Varkel, and one of which is full art. My goodness, what is happening here? We've then got behind that another alternate art, or not, yeah, another alternate art, Eagle of Freezing Flame, and a foil scorn effigy at the back as well. Oh, hello, you beautiful man. Right, continuing. Oh, oh, that's made me feel better. Significantly better. Okay, another token here. We have Goldspan Dragon as our artwork. That's really cool. Goldspan Dragon is a broken card. All right, Snow Covered Plains, Tormentor's Helm, Haggy Mob, Break Connect Berserker, Run Amok, Vault Robber, to Scary Firewalker. Frostpire Arcanist as our first uncommon into the rare Reflections of Lit Yara, another rare Egon God of Death, and then Priest of the Haunted Edge, and a foil rare Blessing of Frost. That's three rare pack. That's really cool. One of which is a foil Blessing of Frost, and another of which is Egon the God of Death, and another of which is Reflections of Lit Yara. Goodness me. That was a good pack. Okay, moving on over here. Slips. What have we got? It's another token. It is another token. It's a giant wizard. How exciting. Artwork is Igar Runeyes. Ooh. Okay. Rhinewood Falls. Imastrum Raider. Seize the Spoils. Smashing Success. Craven Hulk. Demon Bolt. Onto our uncommons. The first of which is Basil Ravager. Frost Augur. Rare behind here. And it is Mystic Reflection. Oh, yes. Excellent. Let's sleeve up Mystic Reflection straight away. And behind that is Colvery, God of Kinship. Excellent stuff. You can sit over there nice and tidy. And then Glittering Frost and a foil Imstermerator to finish that pack off with as well. Oh, Mystic Reflection, you are wonderful. Look at you. Okay. Next pack open. We're down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs left. Ten packs We've got 20 packs so far and five mythics. So that's a what one in one in four chance of pulling a mythic? Kaima Cosmos Serpent alternate art. Oh, and it's the alternate art, alternate art. Snow Covered Island, Undersea Invader, Squash, Cinderhar Giant, Gold Rain Pick, Lit Yara Kin Seekers. We're onto our own common straight away. Avalanche Cooler, Replicating Ring, Svela Ice Shaper. It's a rare. Rise of the Dreadman, Alternate Art Vega the Watcher, and the Foil Wings of the Cosmos. Oh, we didn't. I didn't check. It's Oubliette. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Oubliette. You can sit in a sleeve and go over with everything else. We know you're worth a little bit of money these days. So, Alternate Art Vega, Foil, Rare, Restaurant Commons. That's cool. Let's do a quick check on how expensive Oubliette currently is. Just dropping stuff all over the desk. Uh, oh. This version, oh, that's upsetting. It's one pound forty-four. Oh, oh well. Oubliette's cool to pull, regardless. Oh well, that wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be. Okay, token in here. There would, I'm going to watch the recording back. That I'm pretty sure we didn't even. I thought it was a token and that. That was weird. Uh, prismatic bridge. That's pretty. Snow covered swamp foil, Bergstrider, Pilfering Hawk, Frostbite, Frostpeat Yeti, Shimmervale Drift, Mistwalker, Rootless U as an uncommon. Then into a rare Glorious Protector. Nice. Then into another rare Failure's Retribution. And another rare Valkyrie Harbringer. Oh my god, triple angel rare pack. And a foil Shimmervale Drift. Oh my goodness. Triple Angel Rare. Valkyrie Harboring, a set booster exclusive, Fairs Retribution, and Glorious Protector. That was a good pack. I am, I won't lie, I'm quite happy with this box. This has been good. I prefer these over usual draft boxes. I really, really do. Because I don't play draft. Okay. If I do, I play badly. Set booster. That's how many? That'd be six set booster cards so far. Togid, got a fright. Snow Covered Plains. Depart the Realm. Carfell Harbinger. Raven Form. Augury Raven. Behold the Multiverse. Best common ever. Scorn Effigy. Okay. My first copy of Arnie Slays the Troll. Yeah, I pulled that before. That's cool. 
not Vold Slumber Mounds onto our first row. It's a 4 4. It's an old growth troll. What a troll based pack this is. Old growth troll. As a rare Frost Pig Yeti and our foil Marit the Frost. And our set booster card is Scred. Scred deals targets to creature equal to the number of snow permanents you control. That's really helpful. Why were you not included in the actual set? I wonder. It's not worth much. I have no idea why I've just sleeved it up. It's going to be worth nothing. Let's do a quick check on Scred, shall we? Get off tokens. Right. Scred. Oh, a pound. That's fine. Solitary pound. That's currently worth. Stitch some more of that to tidy up here as we go into our last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. Oof, shaping up nicely here. Look at that stack of rares. It's nearly as high as a stack of uncommons. Okay, I was going to say it's higher than a stack of lands, but of course it would be because you only get one land a pack normally. Right. Open carefully. What have we got at the top? Token. Off you go. Art card. Vengeful Reaper. Cool. Snow Covered Island. Augury Raven. Behold the Multiverse. Foretell Pack. Scorn Effigy. Disdainful Stroke. Bind the Monster. Annul. Brian Barrow Intruder, Armed Commons. We've not got many cards left in this pack, and that was, what, seven commons again? Gladewalker Ritualist. Foil, uh, not foil, sorry, a Mythic Rare Haunting Voyage. Shimmer Veil Drift and a Foil Jewel Strike. Nice. Haunting Voyage, you're a Mythic, so you get sleeved, even though I think you're worth about a pound, if that. Okay. Let's slip open. Oh, get back over here. Slip open this. Okay. Token. Goodbye. Redellion, God of all God of the Worthy. Cool. Alpine Meadow. Mr. Vityara. Strategic Planning. Run ashore. Draugr Thought Thief. Groom Draugr. Skull Raid. Carfell Kennelmaster. I think we pulled all of those cards in that order earlier. I might rewind that later and have a look. Bloodline Pretender as an uncommon. Runeforge Champion as a rare, Pilfering Hawk, and a Foil Master Vandal to round off that pack as well. That was a disappointing pack. Oh, well. Let's keep going. We're down to our final five. Is there a Mythic in our final five packs? There's no set booster card in here. Oh! There's a Foil, Harnfell Horn of Bounty, and Big God of Storytelling at the back. That's cool. That was a nice little surprise. Thank you very much. Need some more sleeves now. Run out. Let's delve into the drawer. Don't know if you can see that on camera. Oh, you can't. Good. It's a messy old drawer. Right. Art card is Righteous Valkyrie. Foil Snow Covered Island. Raise the Draga. Infernal Pet. Village Rites. Priest of the Haunted Edge. Dread Rider. Dogged Pursuit. I love this card. Usher of the Fallen. Oh, I love this on common. Frenzied Raider. Light step pathway, nice. And a alternate art, Nafi Betrayer King. That's cool. That's really cool. Just look at the artwork on that. That's amazing. So pretty. So cool. Okay. Four packs left. We've got foil rare. What a lovely surprise. Second foil, mythic foil rare in there. Token in this pack. It's a bird. Is it a plane? No, it's just a bird. Okay. Vargath, Blood Sky Sire, Sulfurous Maya, Draw a Recruiter, With a Crown, Way Down, Yara the Forsaken, Feed the Serpent, Elderfang Disciple, Death Nail Berserker, uh, Batter Shield Warrior. Is that a warrior just using shields in that art? I think it might be. That's cool. Oh, Icebreaker Kraken is a rare. Is there more than one rare in this pack? I hope so. There is. It's Cleaving Reaper. You're also pretty cool as well. Pay three, return it from graveyard to hand. Activate only if you had an angel or berserker into the battlefield this turn. And a foil infernal pet to see that pack off. Double res there. Three packs left. Come on. I would like a Vorin Clex, please. Or something similar. Treasure token. Okay. Tybalt's Trickery. Snow-covered swamp. Coma's Faithful. Demonic Gifts. Master Vandal. Dusk Wielder. Jaspera Sentinel. On to Uncommons. Rune of Sustenance. Rune of Flight. Waking the Trolls. Ugh. Another rare. Oh, fuck. 
Another alternate art, Essica, God of the Tree. Pulled another one. He's a while ago. Oh, you're getting sleeved. So much you're getting sleeved. You're expensive right now, I think, as well. Uh, Hailstorm Valkyrie and a Foil Tormentor Town. I think Hailstorm Valkyrie is another one. It's a set booster. Exclusive. We're down to two packs now. Two packs. And we pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rares so far. Seven mythics, rather. Seven mythic rares. Okay. Two packs left. This one does not have a set booster card in it. That's fine. Dragon Necromancer is our artwork. Snow Covered Forest. Grizzled Outrider. Horizon Seeker. King Harold's Revenge. Guarding Blade Walker. Struggle for Skemfar. That wasn't very many comments, was it? Four ish? Five? Okay, Rune of Might. Inga Rune Eyes. Kyla's Onslaught. Hengegate Halfway, full art. Lovely stuff. You look pretty. Into the sleeve you go. Marit the Frost and a Foil Comus Faithful. We're on to our last pack. Do not be underwhelming. Do not be underwhelming. Come on. Be better. Be better. Well, that's quite nice, to be fair. That foil. That full art, rather. Okay, in here we have... It's a set booster card to round off this video. Okay. We've got Vorinclex Monstrous Raider artwork. Alternate art artwork. Come on. I feel good things. I feel good things. Alpine Meadow. Foil. Glittering Frost. Sculptor of Winter. Roots of Wisdom. We've definitely pulled these cards in this order. Definitely. Elder Gleaf Mentor. Four commons. Ruined Crown. Rune of Speed. Weathered Rune Stone. Last Mythic, Eradicator Valkyrie. Life Flying, Lifelink, Hexproof from Planeswalkers. King Narfi's Betrayal. Inga Rune Eyes All Artwork. Foil Iron Verdict. And a Sky Hussar. Unfortunately, the video is frozen, so you can't see them, which is a shame. But thank you for tuning into this. Just to recap our mythics. Essica, God of the Tree. Haunting Voyage. Two Tyvar Kel, one Full Art, one Foil. Coma, Cosmos Serpent, Aaron, God of the Cosmos, and Starnheim Unleashed with a Foil Biggie, God of Storytelling, and a Mystic Reflection in there as well. That was a successful pack. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I will catch all of you guys next time. Take care.